The following program is brought to you by the Black Forest Film Council and also by the Deutsche Square Rescue Foundation. Hello, it's me, Mannheim. Normally this is the part of the show where I'd be running through my studio audience, high-fiving, high-kicking and screaming. But in the meantime, while we wait for a vaccine, hurry up, science! Here's a little appetizer to wet your whistle. We have a very special guest tonight, and perhaps what I'm wearing will give you a little hint. Enjoy! From Studio Funk in the heart of the Black Forest, it's Late Nacht with Mannheim Dudlingen! Tonight's special guest, Tammy Strömer! Featuring the Fräuleins, Sabrina, Katrina, Und Gött. Und your house band, the Black Forest Saxophone Quartet. Now please put your hands together for the host of Late Nacht, Mannheim Tutlingen. Our very special guest tonight is a super talented, award-winning actor, choreographer, amazing yogi. You may remember her as the child like Empress from the Never Ending Story. Please welcome our very first guest of all time, Miss Tammy Stronach. <laughs> Never-ending Tammy. Hello, Tammy. <laughs> Hi. You guys know how to make a girl feel welcome and a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I hope it is uh, not too much. No. <laughs> Just enough? All right. Oh, Tammy, may I call you Miss Tronak? Yes, of course. Just want to thank you first and foremost for joining us slash me tonight. All right, let's dive in. So... What the hell was it like filming one of the greatest films of all time? It was amazing. I, uh, I really have very, very fond memories of filming it. Um, I think the thing that impressed me the most, the thing that I'm left with is just the scale of it. The sets were so all handmade because it was the 80s. And so there was no, or there was a little CGI, but there wasn't a lot. There was green screen, but really everything was made. So there were these huge, huge tents that were like city blocks. And uh, they filled them with mud and trees and fog. And once you were inside the tent, you really couldn't see the edges. So it was like being Alice in Wonderland. You were just transported into these magical landscapes. So cool. And is it true that you filmed a lot of this in Germany? All of my, uh, my two scenes <laughs> were filmed in Munich, yeah. Oh, okay. Hard-hitting question time. What do you remember the most? What do you remember the least? What I remember the least, I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, tell us all this time. <laughs> but what I remember the most, one scene that is kind of an interesting story is uh, the sort of, there was the big uh, scene where I call out, call my name, Bastion. It's the big crying day. And I remember we, we shot it many, many, many times. I was like super dehydrated, drinking like water after water bottle. And um, we went home and it was a wrap and Wolfgang was happy and I was happy that he was happy. And I came back in the next day and he's like, we looked at the dailies and there was a fly that we didn't notice like buzzing around the frame. So we have to do it again. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, oh, these insects are everywhere. It's a hot summer. Okay, Tammy, can you tell me, have you gotten in touch with the elusive Falco lately? Oh, he is so elusive. Like you say, I, I have lost touch with him. It's unfortunate. Oh, what about anyone else in the cast? Do you stay in touch with them? I do actually, very recently, I hadn't seen anyone for ages and ages and ages and ages. And then I was uh, fortunate enough to see Noah Hathaway, who played a Treyu oh. at a Comic-Con. And it was really fun. We were like, oh my God, you know, it's, it's wild seeing someone, you know, you can see the boy inside of him <laughs> still. So it's lovely, yeah. Oh, this is making my heart palpitate in very good ways. <laughs> okay, now Tammy, according to my sources, the internet, when you were auditioning for the film, is it true you started for a play you were auditioning for, or not a major motion picture? 
yes and no. I thought I was auditioning for a small European release. Oh, that was my nickname in high school. Okay. <laughs> my similar sources, Wikipedia, say you lost your two front teeth right before filming? Your research is good. I want to commend you on your, you know, exhaustive research. The, it wasn't the two front teeth, but I did lose my teeth. It was the canines. Oh, canines. You know, I am an animal lover. You know who <laughs> else I love? Canine like Dragon Falcor. Did you ever get a chance to ride him on set? I didn't. It wasn't fair. They just made me sit on a cake-like bed. I got no riding privileges. Oh no, well maybe we can have a class trip when all of this COVID is over. We'll get out of quarantine, we'll go to Munich together, and we'll ride on Falcor. Oh, I'm sorry, we're having a fangirl, and <laughs> I'm fangirling out here. And speaking of fangirling, I am very much a fan of The Stranger Things. Are you a fan of The Stranger Things? And did you see the never ending tribute and challenge? I'm a huge fan of Stranger Things. I love that series. I love the art direction and the way they capture that whole 80s vibe. Um, and just also, I think that world where like little kids, 11 year olds are having to navigate really hard things and their parents don't quite understand the trauma of it all. <laughs> it sort of seems like an 80s theme or something. I love everything about that show. And I was super surprised when that song came on and I took up Millie Bobby Brown's dance challenge. I did it with my daughter and um, another friend of mine's uh, very little toddler. And it was really fun. And does your daughter know how cool you are? You know, if you could tell her, it would be super helpful because I, I, have... don't, I don't think she knows how cool I am. I have no problem with that. And I have very good penmanship. I will send a very Teutonic letters in the mail on a daily schedule. Okay, great. <laughs> Kids, you can't live with them. You can't live with them. So maybe she would think you were super cool if she knew a little bit about your music career. Can you tell me anything about your beautiful songs like Fairy Queen and Riding on a Rainbow? <laughs> sure, that's a fun story, actually. It happened kind of by accident. Um, I was promoting The NeverEnding Story on a, a television show in, in Germany and, and um, it was like a, an interview. I was, they actually brought us in on a snail. We rode the snail in. <laughs> Barrett and I were sitting on it. Um, and they asked me if I knew any German and I, I really didn't. I mean, I was on set 12 hours a day. It was I didn't have a, a lot of chance to, to, to learn the language, which is unfortunate. But the song at the time was the 99 Red Balloons. Oh, yeah, yeah, Loft Balloons. Yes, Loft Balloons. And I loved that song. And so I sang it on TV. And the next day we got a call from a record producer who said, would you like to make a record? You know, I'd like to make a record with Tammy. But we'd been in Germany for a long time and school was starting back up. And my mom was like, well, you know what? We're leaving the country in three days. If you can make something in the next three days and we don't have to change our tickets, she can do it. So uh, the guy uh, wrote two songs. We decided to make it a single rather than a record. He sent the songs over that night on a little cassette tape. And it was the 80s. I had my Walkman and my little headphones. And so I spent the whole time like, yeah, exactly, like listening to the music and learning it. And we recorded them the next day and then we did a video the next day. And I think we did a, like a talk show that day too or something, it was totally bananas. And then I flew back. So that's where those very synth-tastic 80s songs came from. Oh, super cool. And it's funny because actually my uh, children's uh, content company, which is called Paper Canoe Company, we do all kinds of things, plays, sock puppet shows, music, now a movie. Um, but we do have um, two kids albums, one that we released uh, a couple years ago in 2018 called Beanstalk Jack. And the upcoming one, which we're mixing right now is uh, called All the Colors. 
and uh, the title song is All the Colors of the Rainbow. And the, the whole album is organized so that there's a song for each color and each song and each color has a different musical style so kids can get exposed to the blues and to you know something the just every song has its own kind of style and then we just had the idea that maybe we would reprise writing writing on a rainbow and shove it on the end of the album because that would be kind of fun oh i cannot wait to hear it please keep us informed as to when it would be released thought that was it. We had such a great interview, there's even a part two to be continued. Yeah, where Tammy tells us all about her exciting new film project featuring one of the Goonies. And we find out what is the name that Bastian screamed when he called her name. So, stay tuned. To be continued. Coming soon to a personal device near you. And subscribe here! Somewhere? And don't forget to subscribe. Can I squeeze your mustard? My mustache is falling off. I love that song! I can grow a mustache off. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribing.